Okay, so I'm going to show an actual use case for this instead of just blitzing through a bunch of features. Um, let's take, for example, a jump track. Right now I just have a blank session open. Take jump track. Nice thing here is with no tracks, you can drag it directly onto the master, and Adobe knows what kind of track to make and where to put it. Um, so the reason I chose this is because it's a good example of a track that has an extremely fast, um, whatever that is, you know, closed tie hat. And then also thud, thud, down there. Um, now, you can use things like, you know, I think this actually might have a uh, multiband compressor built in. Um, yeah, it does, which is nice, but this is, oof, that's not a good interface, but it, whatever, it has a multiband compressor built in, which you could use. But you're better off in a lot of cases just having this is why it's best to have separate tracks. So what you do is you just um let me just check how I have this set. Um thud 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 where's that thud? Yeah. It's probably about right. Three K, we're gonna move this up to about five K. This to a little over seven. We'll go a little under five, that should catch any siblings. And these two channels should there. Okay. So it's doing that. Now keep in mind this is uh, about five minutes of audio and it's ripping it apart it while processing. It's it's very very snappy piece of software. So now we go back to our multi track view. Um we have these four new files. I'm just gonna drag them again onto master, it'll know what to do. So let's just mute the old one. And poof sounds exactly like it used to. However, now we can do things like this. So there's that thud thud. So like, if you were to want to try and bring down your thud thud, something a little more reasonable, you could do that. That was the wrong one. A little less thud thud. Or you can go nuts with your thud thud. Um, this also lets you do things that are really, really cool. Which is a uh, amplitude and compression. This probably has some kind of modulation. It's got to have some kind of distortion thing in it. There. How the hell do you like this? I don't know. That is the worst noise I have ever, ever made in my life. I had that. That is the worst noise I've ever made in my life. Um, go away. So, so now you can do things like, if you want it to be super thumpy, you can bring things down, keep a little bit of that high end in, or totally kill the high end. And then you can obviously automate this all however you need. Let's look at the, um, how long have I run? Three minutes. All right, let's real quick look at something like the base. Whoop, damn it, base, where are you? You know, we'll do this in another one. I just wanted to show this splitting bit first. Alright, the end.